Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to show you an updated version of my Twitch VOD downloading tool. And basically what I've done recently is I use Linux and I've changed some some small I made some small changes. So basically this allows you to use the tool on Mac OS, Linux or Windows. So it looks basically like before and the only thing you need to know is if you use Linux or Mac OS you have to install FFmpeg. Without FFmpeg you are not able to convert the videos to big mp4 files. So that's that's important to know. You have to install FFmpeg. So, if FF, if you want to know, know if, if to check if FFmpeg is available, just open a terminal and type in FFmpeg. Easy, <laughs> the easy way. So, if it if it is available, it will prompt. It will show you the version and how it's compiled and. A lot of useless stuff, basically. So, if it isn't available, if I have MPEG, well, uh, it will tell you command not found. So, if that is the case, you have to install it. So, I use Linux. So, uh, with Linux, it's pretty convenient. You only you only have to use your package manager and install FFmpeg. So, and my case it's pacman i using arch so pacman is the package manager for arch linux and yeah it will tell me uh, it's reinstalling it because it's already installed and basically that's it with ubuntu or uh, with ubuntu you have to type use apt-get install uh, and then f probably ffmpeg. I don't know the, the exact package name but probably it is ffmpeg. So if that isn't right use apt cache search ffmpeg. So but that won't work here. Uh, I'm using Arch Linux uh, but that wo will work on Debian uh, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or well, what is called from Valve, SteamOS. <laughs> that should work on SteamOS too. So basically, you need to install FFmpeg to use the tool, all the features of the tool. So to download videos, you have you enter the channel name, so like Loco TV. And oh, local place Counter Strike. What's wrong with him? So let's switch back to Take TV. I've prepared a small video to show you how it's how it works. And here it is, three minute fifty one. That should be that free video. So I delete it. So, if it isn't downloaded, it looks like that. You hit, you can hit download, and it will start to download the video. And if you see, uh, watch the lock window, you can see it downloads 59 parts, and it is stored in the new way. So the new way is is with a lot of small, a lot of small parts, usually about three seconds long. And after downloading it, you need to convert it to one big MP4 file. That isn't really. That is pretty, pretty simple. So that's HTOP. It's basically a task manager. I just wanted to show you the CPU use usage of while converting a video. So now it's downloaded. Hit convert, and it starts converting it. 
and it uses all your CPUs. It uses a lot of power and a lot of resources. And if you open the log window, you will see the output of FFmpeg. I mean, you don't need to know that, but basically it passes the time of that string and to calculate the progress bar. So you don't need the log view, but in some cases it's it's useful if something fails or it didn't convert the video or something like that. Or one part is missing. It will tell you FFmpeg. So while converting I can show you how everything is stored. Uh, basically it's stored in the folder you can s you select here. Per default it uses your home directory. So in Windows it's C uses flow. In my case I'm using Linux it's home flow and Mac OS uses a folder called dash users dash dash username. So it depends which operating system you use but the default setting is use the home folder. You can change it here. So if you wonder wh where the videos are stored, basically it's under C users and your username in Windows. So after it's converted, it you can hit play here or, or open the folder where it's stored. So and I don't know which one is the most recent. So it seems like that one. And you can play it, you can take it with you in, on your mobile device or some. It's basically a s MP4 file with, with which uses the H264 codec. And another important folder is the playlist folder. This playlist, this folder contains the playlists and some files that are called FFmpeg file lists. And what this for what that files are basically for FFmpeg. So don't delete delete them. They are important to convert the videos. So basically it's a list with all the parts. So FFmpeg needs to know which parts concatenate together to get a one, one big video. So basically it's a file list is a list of of the parts. It's generate generated by my f by this tool and after that it's if you hit convert it just opens FFmpeg and uses that file that list to convert the video. Pretty simple. And easy. So that's it how it how that's how my program works. And yeah, feel free to use it and have fun with it.